What is up guys, Maka here, and today I am back with another tutorial. This time I'm going to be doing a timer map syncing tutorial because I've noticed that I've done a tutorial on pretty much every other way of my editor. Okay, I have no clue what the fuck I'm talking about. I've done other tutorials and basically they've done pretty well. And for some weird reason, my cinematics tutorial on PC is blown up, and I really don't get why anyone would want to listen to me speak, let alone 11,000 people, so there must be something I'm doing right. So I decided to make a tutorial on this time map syncing, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to import my clip. And I've got myself a song, I've got Ben Bean, uh, if I can drag this out, Ben Bean, Vinyls, Feet, Vincent Bial. Okay, so I'm not going to need that much. I'm going to do a 30 second composition. Make sure all your compositions are correct. Composition settings are correct. So I'm going to use a 1280 by 720. Oh, pardon me. Uh, you can call this composition whatever you want, so I'm just going to call it Tutorial. And then we're going to drag in the song. And if you click L twice, it'll bring up the song. Okay, so I'm just going to find the little part where I'm going to use it. Okay, so. Okay, so what we're going to do from here is we're just going to mark out the beats, so I'm just going to quickly mark out the beats and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I'm done with the marking out the beats. I'm not sure if I've got them all dead on because I kind of rushed it, but they should be fairly accurate. Okay, so we're going to just import the clip, just drag it in. So what we're going to want to do is find the beat where we want to hit the shot, so I'm going to have it on here. I'm going to have like a little bit of clip sync in before. Okay, and once we've got that clip fairly marked out, there we go. So you want to find a little muzzle flare, and we're going to have that on the shot. Okay, then we're going to split it with Control shift and D. I'm not sure if what it is if you're on Mac, because I'm not one of those people. I'd love to be one of those people, but I'm not one of those people. Okay, so now what we're going to do is right click this, time, enable time remapping, that will bring up this, and you get the little diamond, I'm just going to uh, disable the clip sound, I'm going to click the keyframe on that, and then on this, if you drag a little further back, just so you got a few more frames to work with, and it cuts down less on the frame drops, you don't want to drag it back too much though, because you don't want to have the clip out of time. And then at the end you can have it kind of, I like to have it at a point where, so sync points would be like, you don't really sync it to like something like this, you want to sync it to somewhere with a lot of movement, so I like to sync it to somewhere like, say where it kind of brings the magazine out at the end, so you can just get that kind of, like it does it quicker. So now what we're going to do for this part is we're just going to press F9, you're going to highlight all these and press F9, or if not you can just highlight all of these, right click, use your own system, easy ease. Now we're just going to drag this away for a second. So what we're going to do is we're going to click the timing map. And we want to go into the editor. Okay, just checking out our recording or else I'm looking at a fucking idiot. Okay, so we're going to start on the first uh, few keyframes. So if you highlight these two and I think it's, yeah, that. You fit selection to view. It just makes them that little bit clearer to see. So you're just going to drag the first one up a little bit like that. And the second one down a little bit. And you can adjust them later if it's too choppy. You don't want it too much. You don't want it too high though. You want to keep like a kind of bend in it because if you don't have that bend, if it's just flat, dead in the middle here, it won't move. So there we go. And you don't want to have it dead straight down like that, or else it'll be too choppy. You want to have it a little bit in. And I'll show you what you do for slower songs in a minute. But first, I want to get this kind of song out of the way first. Because the timing mapping is a little bit different when it comes to slower songs because obviously you don't want those strong beats and strong sync. So we've done that for all of these. 
on the shot, because you dragged it out a little more, you can always drag it down or up a little bit more because you got that much time, that little bit more time to work with. Okay, so there we go. So I should go bang. Okay, so now we're gonna have a quick look at this. See how this looks. If not, we'll adjust it. Okay, so here. Frank goes boom and Frank goes bad, but everybody hate this dude because this dude rap. So I'm just gonna quickly create a second composition. We're just gonna add some black bars and an RSMB on here. Just because I don't think it looks as great without RSMB. Uh, where's my black bars? So we're gonna have an 85, because I never like having it on 98. Seems a little more cinematic if you have it with that. Uh, we're gonna have my RSMB settings, which are probably all gonna nab. Thank you very much. Okay, so we're just gonna preview that. Okay, so it seems to be not synced enough, so I'll make it, we'll try and make it a little more noticeable, so I'll make it a little more choppy. So we'll just try this up a little bit more, down a little bit more. Um, a little bit more, down a little bit more, a little bit more. Preview it again, see if that looks any better. Okay, so let's have a look. Frank goes boom and Frank goes bad, but everybody hate this dude because this Okay, so you can see a couple of frame drops in there. Obviously, that is not the, oh, that is not the kind of thing you want. So you just adjust it again so you get that little less of a frame drop. Because you don't want frame drops in your edits, they just make them look choppy and not very smooth. But I'm just going to leave it for now. You guys get the idea. You just adjust those little handles until it comes out. You don't want it too slow or too fast. And worst of all, you don't want any frame drops. But yeah, I'm just going to continue this just so you guys can see what you do with the kill cam. So we're just going to drag it over. We're just going to find that one, that shot. Okay, so we're going to cut it here, cut it at the end. You can use all in the square brackets, or you can just Control Shift D to split the layer. Or if you go to Edit, uh, Split Layer, that should split into two layers, and you just delete the parts you don't want. So I'm going to quickly uh, enable timing mapping. Like I said, enable timing mapping is a time timing mapping, but I used a shortcut just quick so you guys could yeah. Not for waste of time. So we're going to go to the part where he shoots. Okay, and then for this, you're going to want to kind of drag this out a bit more. Like I said. So you get a little extra movement and because the kill cam is slowed down a lot if you you can drag this back quite a bit and actually get a lot more of the shot in and that will also reduce the frame rate drop so I'm not gonna is this do rap is this do rap I'm not gonna sync the two beats I'm just gonna sync one and we're just gonna easy use those again you just right click them keyframe assistant easy use I choose a shortcut and all we want to do is just drag this little handle up Drag the little handle down, up again, down again, up again, down again. Oh, sorry, I forgot to mention, you want to get to each beat and click the little keyframe button after you've set the start and the finish point, because then that way um, you keep the same kind of time the whole way through, if that makes any sense. But yeah, we're just going to drag this one up a little bit. This one's obviously a lot bigger one, so we can drag that one down a lot more. Okay. Okay, so we're going to view this quickly. Um, shit. Don't want to float it up. Let's have a Frank goes boom and Frank goes back. But everybody hate this dude because this dude rap. They say he's whack. Flipping the rhythm of spitting like. Okay, so on this last part here, I think it does go a little bit too far, but all we're going to do here is we're just going to go to the timing map part. And because I dragged it out a little bit too long, we can have a little bit more of a bounce out, so it kind of goes bang, bang, straight out. But actually, I don't like that much, that is a bit much. We can just drag it kind of in a little bit more, and hopefully it won't be too fast. So we'll have a look at that. 
Frank goes boom and Frank goes back. But everybody hate this dude because this dude rap. They say he's whack. Flipping the rhythm of spitting like a. Frank, I didn't see that really. This dude rap. They say he's whack. No. Okay, so we do want that straight down because we want to have it that much more of a bounce. So. Yeah, like that. Okay, so that is basically the timing map syncing tutorial. Um, I will be doing another tutorial soon, so just leave a comment in the description what kind of tutorial you want. I was thinking more of a 3D kind of scene, so if I go to one of my edits quick, don't even ask about all the folders, I've got fucking too many. Um, which edit do I do a 3D scene in? It would be a lot easier to just go on my channel. Um, sorry, give me a second, I'm just trying to think. I think I did it in my red RC. Did I do it in my red RC? Um, okay, so something like this. Because uh, other than all the little effects and stuff to have animate in, this is a 3D scene and I had my own text put on this. And I can show you how to do this kind of scene made of element. Then there's a bullet part. This is also another element 3D scene, which I can do. But yeah, I could do a tutorial on something like this. This is a 3D scene. Other than all the animations and the effects you'll see, um, this is actually a 3D scene. All I did was use a camera with uh, some DLF. Uh, I turned up the FOV so it looks uh, larger proportion. Use some broken glass and the clock, which comes with element, I think, or something like that. But I can show you how to make a 3D scene like this, or a 3D scene like this. Or I could even do a tutorial on how you get your own textures like this onto like bullets and uh, 3D parts. But yeah, um, just leave a comment on what kind of tutorial you want and I'll be sure to get back to you. Um, but yeah, I'm going to render this out and I'm going to put a little bit of... I'm going to put some effects on this and just show you what it can actually look like if it comes out with all the effects and a pan crop and everything. So yeah. Make sure to drop a like and a comment if you guys enjoyed, and if you want another tutorial, again, like I said, just be sure to let me know, and I will get back to you. Enjoy the rest of your afternoon, or night, or day, or whatever time zone you're in, and I will see you in the next one. You go to Frank goes boom and Frank goes bad, but everybody hate this dude cause this dude rap, they say he's whack.